Hello everyone, I'm Amber. Uh, I'm coming to actually put a series on. Um, it's about cleanup for the end of 2016 going into 2017. So after this little introduction, I will be pulling a few cards on things that each sign would need to just clear up going into the new year. So it all started, I actually got almost like jolted out of my sleep in the middle of the night um, to meditate on the upcoming year. Because I don't know if you all have noticed, but the energies have been really strange in that everything that you thought you knew on a soul level, um, like to be completely true, as far as like relationships, soulmates, twin flames, career choices, don't seem to actually be coming together for one reason or another, kind of leaving you feeling frustrated and not knowing that um, if it will happen, not really trusting your intuition. And this is because December, early January is all about releasing like old thought processes, giving you more freedom to move towards the things that fulfill you on that spiritual whole level. Um, it's all about working towards the greater good, your best future, you know, and 2017 will be about letting old ideas and things go that kept you in bondage from starting your new prosperous beginnings in 2017. So the promise for 2017 is about drastic breakthroughs in situations that seem to be stagnant or hopeless or leaving you feeling pessimistic about them. Um, wishes coming true and you being successful in your destiny or fate, whatever was meant to be, is being jolted into action from the things that you released at the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. Um, and it's, it's wishes like things that you felt <sighs> it has to be by divine hand only that these things will ever happen for me. And then, boom, they happen. Um, it's more like that. So, this leads me to pulling the cards. So, I was basically led to do this series, to pull these cards for things that you need to clear up, to bring to your attention, to clear up, so that you can be free to work to your best abilities or heights for 2017 so these wishes and you know allow your destiny to come in smoothly so i will be pulling cards thank you for listening <laughs> hello scorpio let's pull your cards so you have Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, and as your overall energy, Ten of Cups. Okay. So there's definitely some beginnings. There's definitely some beginnings that definitely want to come in for you. It's something that you've been working on, and I feel like it's love. It's something that you've been in for a while, something that you have invested time in. You've planted seeds, as they say, and love is there. Pleasure is there. Joy is there. Happiness is there. But why am... Huh. That's all... The King of Swords is all about maturity <laughs> maturity and communication I'm getting. Um, 
I laughed because I believe that this was linked to your la your reading. Um, for December, I'm not sure, but um. So it's about you being clear thinking and communicating properly, communicating in a way that's actually effective, I'm hearing. Because you've put this time and energy into this relationship or this situation that you have a lot of feelings about and it's good, it's a good relationship. You have the Ten of Cups and that's all about bliss. So you have this feeling of just peace and happiness over your whole reading and then I get this card and it's not a bad card but it's 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 like everything's fine except for sometimes I say things that I probably shouldn't say that's what I'm feeling with that oh where is that card at the flipped out there we go so I'm getting that sometimes your communication style can cause delays in, in your relationship and by delays I mean hiccups um, I feel like it can cause hiccups and you need to you need to stop this I mean it's really that simple you need to stop this and okay so this is what you need to do you need to put things into perspective okay you need to prioritize um, if you keep doing the things that you're doing that's causing a rift it's going to cause a rift. It's just going to keep adding up. You need to prioritize and balance these two things. I'm not saying that you can't communicate the way you want to communicate, but I think you need to think about your partner a little more um, before you say things. So these cards actually came out and this is telling me that you need to <laughs> try something new uh, as far as your communication, being more perceptive um, to the other person, listening to the other person, um, reading the room, reading that person in order to in order to resolve this issue um, that's what's needed I feel like your partner needs this from you but they just don't they don't know how to say it in a way that won't start a fight or start this situation from happening again which is a cycle but I will say that there's nothing bad happening I feel nothing but good things. It's just this small little thing is like your communication style is a little abrasive. So, Scorpio, I'm going to pull a guidance card for me for you from the wisdom wisdom of the Oracle deck. Sorry, I can't talk. Wow, this one flew out for you. This has got to be your card. It is regeneration. So, regeneration is all about rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whether you may have perceived as failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. Thank you, Spirit. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. 
It's just your communication style, Scorpio. That's all that I see. That's all that I see. And just step into that. Start something new for 2017. Okay. And I'm going to end that there. Love and light. Bye-bye.